Hello and welcome to Comms 247. This is Race in America. I'm Tyler Kimbrell. Um, I'm going to be your sort of virtual guide throughout this course. Um, today I want to give you a little bit of background about the course, uh, how, sort of how I developed it, what I intend the semester to look like, uh, and also uh, just a little bit of background about the concept of race as per discussed in our readings. Um, first is the reason why I developed this course is because we didn't have anything quite like it. Um, in some some courses, race would be talked about, but nothing devoted specifically to this concept, right? And we know that it's very important, right? Um, whether for for good or for bad, right? And I wanted a way that we could look at it from a communication study standpoint. As you can see in the readings, uh, a lot of the literature that that is drawn upon from communication scholars comes from uh, psychologists, sociologists, legal scholars, um, and the like, and philosophers, right? So race has been talked about for hundreds of years, um, but in communication studies, it's really only been looked at uh, closely for a, a decade or so, right? Um, probably since the 90s is when people really started focusing on it and saying this is an important part of our identity, and it really structures society in a way that in ways that are good and bad and we need to study this right so i thought that i would put together some material um and that we could have some honest open discussions about it right uh in a sense it, it, there can be um some apprehension on a lot of people to talk about it and with others they're very open about discussions with that i hope at the end of this course um that you'll all be able to engage in a healthy dialogue uh, about race. Um, sometimes you just can't do that though. Um, I can't, if I had a magic wand, I would wave it, but, uh, I don't. Right. Um, so, but preparing ourselves for those conversations, right. And understanding the ways that people talk about race is really the basis of this course. And the reason why I wanted to, uh, provide this at Haskell. Now, um, if you've looked at the syllabus, great. Um, what I will say is this course is going to be an elective for you guys. So I'm very flattered you guys are in this class. I mean, I, with an elective, you just never know, right? Um, whether people are gonna enroll in it or not. Um, so I'm, I'm very flattered and thankful that you guys are uh, gonna be joining me on this virtual learning experience. I think it's awesome. Um, the idea of this course, at least for this semester, is it's going to be asynchronous, which means we might not meet the entire semester as a, as a group, right? If you need to talk to me um, or have questions about the course or, or anything like that, then send me an email at tkimbrell at haskell.edu, which you can find in our syllabus, and give me 24 hours or so and I'll respond to it and we can set up a Zoom and we can talk face to face, at least virtually. Um, now, uh, you'll see that also our assignments, it's basically just one broken up into small parts, one research paper. So the idea is, and, and I think this is important right now, less is more, right? I don't want to give you guys so much stuff that you don't get anything out of it, but I don't want to give you too little that you don't get anything out of it. So I've stuck with one research paper that you're going to build on in steps throughout the semester through a topic proposal, right? And then providing sources and doing analysis and things like that, really getting an idea of not only how to do research, but how to do this type of research, looking at issues that involve race and understanding them through critical race theories. Now you might say critical race theories, that scares the heck out of me. I'm dropping this class immediately. Don't do that, right? Uh, don't drop the. Don't be scared and don't drop the course because of being scared. Um, you might be familiar with those theories already, or at least some of them. Uh, that's great. Hopefully, we can build on that. If you're not familiar with them at all, um, we can expose you to these things, right? Um, and then build on that, right? So I know we're all coming in at different levels. I understand that, and I'm going to be flexible about that, right? Um, <clears throat> now, uh, as it comes to the concept of race, as you saw in the readings, the most important thing to start with, and I'm going to keep these videos short, so <clears throat> this video will be pretty short, and in the future I'll try to keep them short. 
Some of them will be just me talking like this and others I might need to use a PowerPoint and narrate that. It just depends on what it is that we need to accomplish, right? Um, if I'm using like data or something like that, I'm, I'm gonna need some visual aids, right? Um, some close textual analysis, I'll need visual aids, right? With this, I, this is more just an introduction to the course and really a very short elaboration of a concept in the readings that I think is important. So back to the concept. And this is, this is foundational to what this course entails and really this, where we're at in the study of communication in regards to race right now. Um, and that is the idea that race is a social construct, right? Now, that was uh, not the popular opinion for a long time because it rejects a biological basis of race. And if you take the idea that race is about power, and it almost always has been, right? It is an invention to divide and group people together in a way that keeps predominantly white, wealthy men in power, right? Now, that concept has changed over the time. That's not to say that some of that is not still true, but the way that we talk about race is very interesting because you see transformations in our thinking about race. What it means to be black in the United States or white in the United States or uh, you know Mexican in the United States is different than what it means to be that identity someplace else. It can't not be, right? Uh, because we're dealing with not only just uh, race as, as an idea, but also a variance in cultures and how they communicate impacts the way that they see the world. Okay, so without throwing too much at you here, race as a social construct tells us that it is not biologically true, right? We were essentially fed a lie that we were different. There's only one race and that's the human race. Now the thing that separates us and also brings us together is culture, right? Um, we form groups and those groups have certain norms about them, right? Uh, and we can say that those groups can be racially homogenous, right? But we know that that can be dangerous too. We need to think about the variance even within those groups, right? So race is a very interesting thing, right? Um, while we may say it is not true, it's not biologically true, it certainly is true from a social standpoint. It impacts our daily interactions, right? Um, this week, we just had uh, Kamala Harris, our, our new VP, um, that is the first woman. So that's a socially constructed barrier that was broken, you know, gender, right? And also, uh, she's a woman of color. So she's broken a racial barrier there in the VP office. And in addition to that, an immigration thing as well, too, because she's the, the daughter of immigrants. So um, what we're looking at in this course is taking that idea that we've created this notion that albeit it being false or premised on a false assumption, uh, it has real consequences and real effects for our daily interactions and the way we communicate, the way we think about ourselves and the way we think about others, right? And so our job is to really hone in on these ideas that other people are providing us, borrow from them, right, theories, and really look at something that you find interesting or something that upsets you or something that gives you hope. Because we, we tend to think of race in, a, in bad ways, right, often. Sometimes it can be a beautiful thing, right? Um, so it's, it's not always something that's negative, right? Um, it often is portrayed that way in the media and other places, but we can look at it and we can say, okay, this is significant, right? I wanna study this. And then throughout the semester, as we're reading these theories, you're building your vocabulary, your taxonomy of terms and increasing your knowledge base. So that way, when you discuss what's going on with your issue, right? You're gonna be better uh, equipped to do so. Okay. so. I'm gonna keep this video short, right? Just to just to remind you a few things, so I wanna recap here. If you don't have the textbook user agreement form done, please do so as soon as possible so you can get your textbooks, right? 
Um, it'll make this course much smoother for you and for myself uh, once we have those. Uh, second is uh, that we're asynchronous, so don't worry about the meetings. Just be checking up on Blackboard, looking at your emails, making sure you're watching the videos. And third, when I do these videos, right, um, if there's something that you think would be better, uh, could be explained better, right, or you have um, questions about it, reach out to me, right, and we can talk, I can elaborate. I can only do so much without seeing you guys and, and knowing whether or not you understand what I'm talking about. Um, so not all the videos will be just me talking. Again, some will be PowerPoints and some I'll have some visual aids and things like that. Uh, and so I wanna try to, to develop some ways to really engage you guys as much as possible. But I also know that it's, it's a crazy time. So we can just work through it together, right? Um, so with that being said, um, I am just ecstatic that you guys are in my class. I'm looking forward to a great semester. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty energized for this. I, I love talking about uh, material related to this course. So, um, you know, this should be interesting. It should be fun. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me uh, and have a great weekend.